African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 1st of June, 2024. In response to attempts by the Kiev regime to damage Russian energy and transport facilities, the armed forces of the Russian Federation have launched a group strike with high-precision long-range air and sea-based weapons against Ukraine's energy facilities, which operate the military-industrial complex. Moreover, ammunition depots of Western-made weapons have been destroyed. The goal of the strike has been achieved. All the assigned targets have been engaged. Units of the North Group of Forces continued advancing to the depth of enemy defenses. Russian troops have hit manpower and hardware of 14th, 42nd Mechanized, 57th Motorized Infantry, 143rd Infantry, 82nd Air Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 36th Marine Brigade, as well as 125th and 127th Territorial Defense Brigades close to Nesnoy, Zovnyevoy, Yurchenkovo, Lipsy, Kutuzovka, and Shestakovo. Five counterattacks of assault groups of the 71st Jaeger Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 17th Brigade of the National Guard have been repelled close to Storitsa and Volchensk. The armed forces of Ukraine losses were up to 240 Ukrainian troops, one tank, one infantry fighting vehicle, six motor vehicles, one OSA surface-to-air missile system combat vehicle, and one NOTA electronic warfare station. During counter-battery warfare, one U.S. made Mars MLRS combat vehicle, one D-20 howitzer, one 152mm Akatsiya artillery system, and one 122mm D-30 howitzer have been hit. The units of the West Group of Forces have taken better positions and defeated 14th, 60th, 116th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 12th Special Forces Brigade, Azov, close to Novoigorovka, Kharkov Region, Serebryanka, and Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. One counterattack launched by an assault detachment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine's 63rd Mechanized Brigade has been repelled near Chervenaya Dybrova, Lugansk People's Republic. The Armed Forces of Ukraine losses were up to 450 Ukrainian troops, one tank, two infantry fighting vehicles, nine motor vehicles, two 152mm D-20 howitzers, and one 122mm Gvozdika self-propelled artillery system. The units of the Southern Group of Forces have improved the situation on the front line and engaged manpower and hardware of 54th and 100th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close to Krivaya Luka, Zelizniansky, Orokovo Vasilyovka, Kalinino, Andreevka, and Seversk, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were more than 660 Ukrainian troops, two infantry fighting vehicles, eight motor vehicles, two 152mm D-20 howitzers, one 152mm Mstabi towed howitzer, one 105mm US-made M119 gun, one UK-made 105mm L119 howitzer, and one NOTA electronic warfare station. The center group of forces has improved the tactical situation, as well as defeated 23rd, 27th, 110th Mechanized, 71st Infantry Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade near Karlovka, Yevgenovka, Rozovka, Vozdvizenka, and Zelenoypol, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, six counterattacks of assault groups of 24th, 47th Mechanized, 142nd Infantry, 25th Airborne Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have been repelled near Novo Aleksandrovka, Umanskoy, Novgorodskoy, and Novo Pokrovskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 330 Ukrainian troops, two infantry fighting vehicles, including one U.S. made Bradley and eight motor vehicles. In addition, during counter battery warfare, one 155mm U.S. made M777 howitzer, three 152mm Mstabi howitzers, 
Two 152mm Akatsi F self-propelled artillery systems, one 152mm D-20 howitzer, three 122mm D-30 howitzers, and two 105mm US-made M-119 guns have been hit. The Vostok Group of Forces has taken more advantageous lines and inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the 58th Motorized Infantry Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 128th Territorial Defense Brigade near Eurozenoy and Makarovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses were up to 120 Ukrainian troops, one armored fighting vehicle, four motor vehicles, and one D-30 howitzer. The units of the Dnepr Group of Forces have engaged manpower and hardware of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 37th Marine Brigade close to Stepnogorsk, Zaporizhzhia region, and Tyajinka, Kherson region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses were up to 45 Ukrainian troops, one infantry fighting vehicle, two motor vehicles, one 152mm D-20 howitzer and one 152mm Akatsiya self-propelled artillery system. Operational tactical aviation, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile troops and artillery of the Russian groups of forces have engaged the position of a unit of technicians developing missions for UAV strikes, as well as enemy manpower and military hardware clusters in 116 areas. Air defense facilities have shot down 62 unmanned aerial vehicles, 14 MRS MLRS projectiles, and three French-made hammer-guided aerial bombs. In total, 607 airplanes and 274 helicopters, 24,964 unmanned aerial vehicles, 525 air defense missile systems, 16,219 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. 1,326 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 9,998 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 22,182 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.